Nix was at one time the official meeting place of the Athenian Democratic Assembly of Ancient Greece. In the earliest days of Athenian democracy, the ecclesia met in the Agora. However, sometime within the early 5th century, the meeting place was moved to a new meeting place, which came to be called Nix, from the Greek word meaning tightly packed together. This word, we feel, was more than likely inspired by the astonishing polygonal masonry, so often conveniently absent any of academia explanations as to the origins of such sites. How can individuals tasked with establishing an accurate understanding as to the origins of such sites seemingly overlook that which cannot be explained? It is clear to us that a conspiracy has befallen the academically established historical timeline of our species. This in favor of a perceived all-knowing rather than that which they truly are, rather out of their depth. The Nyx Wall being one of the most compelling and enigmatic features of the ancient ruin. Polygonal masonry of extraordinary size, with a construction method indicative of a lost technology and thus lost civilization. Excavations at the site began in 1910 by the Greek Archaeological Society, which definitely confirmed the site as the Nyx. Interestingly, on the western end of the site is an ancient astronomical observatory. However, during the Greeks' inhabitancy, the site was the focus of political discussion, not astronomy. These discussions were held every nine days and required the involvement of no less than 6,000 residents of Athens, although it is thought that the site could actually hold more than 20,000 individuals. Who built Nyx? Or indeed, the inexplicable polygonal masonry present in its boundary walls, with blocks similar in size to that of the fortress of Sacsayhuaman. The question is, why has this site seemingly been overlooked, not only by academia, but missed by the majority of alternative research? This absence of research, we feel, is clear proof of academia's efficiency to stifle free thought. We suspect that their motives focus on protecting investments, to retain book sales in regards to their apparent accurate explanations of the Greeks and Romans. This requires the concealment of anything which contradicts this tale of events, concealing features which would inevitably ignite unanswerable questions within the viewer's mind. It is undoubtedly an astonishing wall, surrounding an equally astonishing ruin, a place we find highly compelling.